Team Complexity Strat caller Eric Hanji. Uh, right off the bat, I was told that you're gonna uh, anti-strat the shit out of Team EG. Is that correct? Uh, actually, I've. I don't think we've ever anti-strated EG. Um, That's what they say. Yeah, I might have actually put it in their head a couple of times. Um, I, I think they're a little bit mentally weak sometimes. They fight with each other, they get stuff like that. So um, I try to get them under the impression that I watch all their demos. Uh, but I don't think I've watched a demo of them in two or three months. I actually probably should tonight. So um, I'll probably actually do that. But I don't, I don't see any point in anti striding because then you're not playing your game. I mean, I, I, I honestly can't tell you what they do, but it, it's not that hard to tell if somebody goes two people to this spot, they're probably attacking there or something like that. So, um, no, I don't, I don't think we've ever anti shredded anybody. Um, so I don't, I don't know, but I hope they think that, though. I hope they don't watch this because uh, I think you can get in their heads a bit, and that's in our favor. So. Okay. Um, my question is now, do you feel like it's anyone's game in the final, or do you feel the stronger team without question? Uh, you know, I really don't know because I haven't played them with uh, Good For Nothing yet. Um, maybe two months ago I would have put us a little bit better, but they had a really strong show at Arbalet, so I don't, I don't know. They could, I don't know what to expect, but just got to come out and play. So, are we going to expect uh, three maps or two maps? Um, if we lose the first one, I hope three maps. If we win the first one, then let's hope two maps. I don't know. Uh, tell me more about your team because uh, you guys are unknowns. Pretty much up and comers. Thank you. I meant more in terms of up and comers rather than uh, nobodies. Okay. But uh, uh, what are the strengths strengths of your? Ah, uh, damn it! It's way too late for me already. Tired as hell. What are the uh, strength strong points of your team? I would say we all bring something a little bit different. Um, Nine spots our most experienced player. He's probably like you said one of our known guys. So he brings that to the table. Um, d and Bradley brings our, our raw fragging. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Tom's kind of the glue that holds us together because uh, he kind of, I don't know, he's always there to make a joke, keep us happy. Uh, Jeff's our opper, so um, probably our best player when he's on. And I call strats, so I don't, I don't do too much, but, but I, I tell him where to go, so I don't know. So as a strat caller, how do you compare to uh, Lopez? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't, I don't even know how he calls, to be honest. Um, I think I... I think I might be a little bit more um, in control than him because I think with Edis, they kind of talk a lot more. But um, I don't know. I, I, I think he calls good. I think he has EG playing really well, and I think he, he made them a lot better. So I, I think he's a good caller, but I, I really don't know his, his details or whatever. You've been to uh, DreamHack. Obviously, you've had contact. Uh, you've played the best teams. Uh, what has the trip to Europe taught you? Uh, I think it's... It really just taught us that American CS, you just can't get good practice because we went to Europe and a lot of our strats that we had, had made, they weren't really tailored to how Europeans played. So we had to adjust a lot on the fly, which was, was kind of bad when we got over there because we didn't have strats to, to, to use, but at the same time, it made us learn how to adjust mid-game. So um, I just think that the thing about Europeans is that they're, they're so talented or, you know, across the board no matter who you play. So. It's just a lot different than America, and I think a lot of the things like diff like we had to bring in some new strats and we had to work on our mid-game adjustments, stuff like that, I think it made us a lot better, so we'll see tomorrow, I guess. Uh, what's going to be the difference? What's going to separate Team EG from Team Complexity? What are going to be the deciding points in the match, in the final? I think it's who better, whoever comes out and communicates better. Um, sometimes we get a little bit lazy. We don't play together as much. Um, I feel like if we play together, we play our game, we have a really good chance. And then obviously we need to get a few pistols to go our way. I think we're like one in seven right now on pistols, so we might want to talk about those tonight or something because it's it's been pretty bad. That's it. I, I mean that's it. I I think if we play our game, you know, we can take them down. I think if they hit all their shots and they play to the best of their ability, I, I think the, I think they can beat us. But um, I don't know. I, I have a lot of confidence that if we do what we can do and play how we know how to play, then we'll be able to take it. And player by player, who has the stronger team? Hmm. I don't mean as a unit. I mean, I mean it's tough to say because I I think we match up really well actually across the board. Um, I can go through the comparison, but it, it's pretty obvious. Um, it, it it's really pretty tight, honestly. I I don't know. It's that's that's too tough. I don't know. All right. Uh, anything you have to say to your fans? 
Um, keep supporting us. Thank you a lot. And uh, that's about it. Thank you very much. Good luck in the final. Thank you.